don't know if you can see me or not, but, you know, whatever, you can hear my voice. Um, I just recently, <laughs> uh, one of my, my roommate's boyfriend, she, he told me about this whole thing with um, the North Carolina professor who said to, <laughs> it's so silly, I, I couldn't even believe it, but he said that in order to get rid of the, the many problems that we have in this world, especially the ones that are against black people, we need to come up with a solution. And the solution is to find some way to kill every single white person on this planet. <laughs> Absurd, but he actually said, an educated black man said this. Um, I kind of read the responses from some people and a lot of them were just, I mean, they could have said something better than what they, they did say than just like, oh, this stupid racist blankety blank blank. Um, I just, I don't know, I have, a, I'm, I'm, I'm upset because of the fact that um, just what the media wants to, to show, what black, the black community wants to get mad at, I just feel like it's, we're setting a double standard. Um, I put a response on a note um i said that um that the racial issues that are flaring up nowadays are getting more unreal because you think or rather hope that we're making some effort to change our current situation um but due to all the ignorance that we have and that's not just that's not just white people that's that's all around the board and we really need to stop saying that it's just white people and stop putting the blame on them because it's all of us. And um, I know probably gonna get called like Uncle Tom or, you know, traitor and just like, you know, all sympathetic to the white people and that's not true. You know, I I am a black person, but foremost, I'm an American, I'm human, you know, and being a human takes precedence over any color, any race, you know. Um, as Jake said, race is just an ideology. Um, but basically, I just, I think that you know, we as blacks, we feel like, you know, we're above that. We we can't get called racist because of the fact that we've we've struggled and everything. Most people this generation have not have not struggled outside of you know their economic standings. That man, black people before they had to struggle and they had to struggle a lot to get us where we are, and yet we're we're screwing it up. So I don't think that has anything to do with black people. I mean, white people and them holding us back or whatnot. I think it has something also to do with the mentality of black people and why we can't seem to rise up in the easiest of circumstances. Um, first, I would like to say, Michael, you know, Michael Richards, he said what he said. Um, I didn't, I was upset that he said that. I was shocked that he said that. I couldn't believe that he would let those words come out of his mouth. But at the same time, you know, he came on and he apologized for it. And, you know, people say, oh, he's not sincere, maybe he's not sincere, blah, 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 you know? Well, who are you to judge if he's sincere or not, you know? I'm going to take it as his word that he's sorry and everything. And, you know, this is, this has damaged his career in some way, but, and I'm sure he knows that, but the fact that he came and apologized to the black community is, you know, I'm going to take that to heart, you know? And I forgive him for what he did. Um, and that would go for anybody that, you know, decides that they're gonna use that word and try to degrade me in some shape or form if they come back and they're apologetic about it i'm gonna forgive them for it um now apparently you know some of the black community wants to sue him because of that um st stupid okay i don't understand <laughs> please explain to me somebody could try to give me an intelligent argument as to why it is okay for black people to call other black people niggers, but it's not okay for white people to call black people niggers. I understand that it was a racial slur, it was a derogatory term back in, in slavery times that white people used for blacks. And so it has that derogatory term when a white person says it. But I keep getting the argument, oh, it doesn't mean the same thing anymore, it's, a, it's something different, blah, blah, blah then 
if that's the case, then why in the world does it sting you so much when a white person says it? I don't get that. I don't get that. If it's changed, if the meaning has changed, then it shouldn't be have that derogatory feeling. You shouldn't feel degraded in some shape or form or offended in some shape or form if that meaning has changed. So maybe it hasn't changed. Um, so my debate is why do we as blacks choose to use that word? I don't, I don't get that. I don't use it. I don't appreciate when other black people call me that because I have to set them straight because I don't like to be called that. Um, I think that also we set a double standard in the fact that we go out and we clown on people, you know, um, we clown on whites all the time, clown on crackers and honkies and whatnot and everything like that. But we think it's fun, you know, we call it funny, we call it comedy and everything like that. But, you know, for a white person, I'm not saying that my, what Michael Richards was doing was he was just trying to have like some, co you know, comedic satire of black people or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. But what I what I am saying is that, you know, when a white person mentions that word, you know, we we get in an uproar. I'm like, we're calling him a racist and he don't like black people. He hate black people. Blah, 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 you know, I don't understand that. I, 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 I really don't. Um, you know, we judge whites. We judge whites for something that happened like 100 and 200 years ago. And, you know, it's, they have absolutely nothing to do with that. And, but it's okay for us to do it. It's okay for us to say this about them. It's, it's okay for us to call each other niggers and whatnot like that. And it's okay because we're black. But that, I think that's the stupidest argument because we black, we're allowed to do it. I don't get that. Um, and calling each other niggers um, you give permission, an involuntary give permission to other people to call, you know, blacks that. I don't like being called that. But then I, you know, some white person comes up to me and calls me a nigger and then wonders why I get offended because, oh, well, I heard some black person calling another black person that. Well, that's not me. But because they heard that, because they see you setting the example, then they think it's okay. And I'm not saying that's right and that's smart, but that's what they do. Um, I... I think that, you know, when you do that, when you disrespect somebody that's in your in your race, in your in your gender, in your realm, when you do that, you will you involuntarily give permission to other people outside of that to be able to engage in that kind of behavior. And I don't think that's right. Um, going on to the professor and everything like that. I don't understand why there wasn't any uproar from the black community saying, man, this race, that is a that is a genocidal thought to say that I want to kill a, a group of people, one group of people. That is genocidal. We gasp and we do this when Hitler, you know, and I'm not down on the Jews because that was messed up. But we, you know, we gasp and say that was wrong when Hitler kill, kills, you know, was killing the Jews or it was wrong when the American, the white man was killing the, the American Indians or it was wrong for this or it was wrong for that. But when a black man, all of a sudden it's okay. And it's deemed acceptable when a black man says he wants to do that about a white man. I don't, I don't understand that. And what I'm trying to say is, is that we were created to be one people. And until we get that through our thick heads, it's never going to be okay. We're going to still have problems, no matter if we exterminate one group of people or not. We don't need to be trying to exterminate one person. What we need to be doing is trying to exterminate the hate, the ignorance, and the fear that is is in the society and that's the only way we're going to get rid of some of these problems that we